A combination of high tide and days of rain has residents down the shore on alert tonight for more coastal flooding. Our David Spun is checking out the conditions in Ocean City at this hour. David. Hi, Yuki. The back bay behind me is the spot that usually causes this flooding. This is where it usually happens. Tonight, the good news, the rain slowed down a few hours ago, but we've already started to see some flooding from this back bay, and people that live here, they say they're expecting to wake up to some flooded streets in the morning. Monday night, a sign of what's to come in Ocean City as the sun sets and the tide rises. This was the scene early in the morning after a night of surging water. It's always been a problem, yeah. They try to alleviate it with putting bigger uh, storm drains in. Virginia Gifford was born in Ocean City and has lived here since. As she took a walk along the beach with her husband, she couldn't help thinking about the weather. If you have a new moon, high tides at the same time, you're likely to get flooded on, especially on the back base. The white caps of the waves on the ocean side intensified by the hour. Not a soul was swimming. It's too cold. Flooding in the normal spots will also continue to be a problem here. We're on a high corner, so our corner doesn't flood, but one block up it does flood. I'll sunbathe in the rain if I have to. <laughs> Karen Palmer is not kidding. She's from Willow Grove, here for a week with her family. Rainy day at the shore is much better than any day, sunny day at home. I like that quote right there. Had it been raining all through the night like it did last night, where I'm standing right now would be flooded. Officials in Ocean City are telling residents and visitors to pay close attention because those outer bands from Hurricane Florence could eventually affect things here when it comes to flooding. Reporting live in Ocean City tonight, David Spunt, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.